What's going on everyone? You're watching the Iron Gordon channel. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do wood cutouts and sign painting. If you're a returning subscriber, hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a video. Today, I got a commission job that I just finished up for Kaylee. She is the owner of Sabotage Siren right here in Beaumont, Texas. She said that her shop has a bad bitch vibe, so I went ahead and made her some bad bitch lips biting down on a razor blade. It's a fun concept. I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's get into the project. Can you say bitch on YouTube? I typically would cut this on the bandsaw, but my blade just broke, so I'm gonna have to resort to one of my least favorite saws of all time. The jigsaw. I don't know why I don't like these saws. They're probably easier than a bandsaw, but I just don't really care for it. It doesn't matter if I care for it or not. I gotta get it done, so. I'm glad it's here. I'm glad you're here. I'm not saying that the jigsaw is a bad tool. I'm just saying it's not my favorite. But yeah, I mean, it's doing the job for me now. I like it. Oh, and make sure if you're narrating a YouTube video, you're wearing a respirator so nobody can understand what you're saying. Pro tip! Yeah. Okay, here's where I'm at. I got the rough cuts of everything done. I got the razor blade, I beveled that edge, a little bit more visual effect. I got this little topper piece here. Those two pieces will go together like that. Just to make a little bit more dimension. And then also I'm gonna figure out a way to get this about a half inch thick here inside the mouth and still angle down enough to where you can read the text that's gonna be put on the razor blade itself. This one's gonna take a little bit more head scratching than uh, my normal wood cutouts. Once I had the fitment correct, I went ahead and painted the lips with a pink base coat and now I'll start laying down the red. Okay, so what I have is this, this stone gray from Rust-Oleum. And what I want to do is I want to kind of create shading in between each of the teeth. But then I'm going to have to go back over it and mute it back out with the white because it's going to obviously create really dark stripes and I don't want that. And with it being teeth and being uh, essentially being good looking teeth, I want to keep the, keep the gross factor down. So I got to make this look a little bit more realistic. Maybe leaning more towards a little bit of pop art but still giving it some shading. So give this a shot. Now with the gold, I'll do the same technique except using a bronze as my shading color. And I'll brighten it up with some candy gold I have left over from my guitar painting video. I'll link that right here. So I've got all my text drawn out with a stabilo, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a little drop shadow on all the lettering. I'm going to paint that first, and then once that's all done and dry, then I'll paint on the lettering color, and then I'll probably finish the whole thing off with a highlight.
<laughs> uh, I just realized that I recorded over the footage of me outlining everything. You know, because I'm really good at this YouTube stuff. But now here comes the resin uh, with a little bit of glitter mixed in. Okay, now we're down to the assembly process. This one's a little bit different because of how dimensional everything will get. I had to make a pretty healthy size spacer to go on the bottom layer. And then the razor blade is going to have to sit in this little notch that I created. So I've got a lot going on here. Let's try to figure this out together. I made this wedge to sit in between the razor and the lips so there's a little bit more support. I'll go ahead and epoxy this in and touch up the paint just a little bit, but you know what? I think it's finished. Big thank you to Kaylee from Sabotage Siren for trust me with this project. I'll have her Instagram linked below. I'm also going to have all the products that I use linked in the description below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me today. That'll go on Instagram for sure. I need affirmation from strangers. And I'll try better next time.